Hello everyone, myself Pranisha Priyadashini. I feel very privileged that I got an opportunity to speak about Gopabundu sir. He is not just a teacher or a mentor for me, he is more like a parent. I thoroughly enjoyed each and every lesson he taught to me and I feel like he is my role model each and every day and I got inspired by him every time. And I feel like he planted a seed of curiosity and motivation in me such a way that I get motivated to work hard and to succeed in life. And he made me work to my full potential so that I get full marks in the mathematics subject in my boards. And I feel like he is the best teacher anybody can have. And I uh, request you guys to like, share and subscribe to Inver in Mathematics to get a daily update of tips and tricks to crack mathematical questions. Thank you guys. Hello. Now, we will start the topic collinear geometry. So, before going to start the topic, I would like to say the revised syllabus according to the new academic session 2021. So, in the revised syllabus, you will meet only the distance formula and division formula, section formula. That means, the area of triangles is not in your syllabus. So, we meet in this topic or in this chapter, we meet only two formulas that is one is distance formula, other is your section formula. Now before going to discuss the distance formula, I would like to explain some fundamental concepts of coordinate geometry. So in coordinate geometry, what we read in standard 9, the two lines, one is a horizontal line, another is a vertical line, which are perpendicular to each other. Those two lines are called two axes. The horizontal line is called x axis, the vertical line is called y axis, and their meeting point, that is O, is called origin. Now, after this one, I would like to explain you any point, a plane has infinite number of points. A plane has infinite number of points. Each point on a plane relates with an order pair. Here you meet a new term which is known as order pair. Which is known as order pair. What is an order pair? An order pair is when we write any two numbers, any two real numbers in a small bracket. Suppose I am writing here 2 minus 3 or I am writing here root 2, 3 root 3. When it, two numbers are written inside a small bracket, that is known as an order pair, which is related to this topic, distance formula. Now, if we take two order pairs, suppose x1, y1 and x2, y2 be any two order pairs. The two order pairs are equal with each other. The two order pairs are equal with each other if their first elements, means first element of the first order pair is x1, first element of the second order pair is x2, means x1 is equal to x2 and y1 is equal to y2. This you meet when we are entering into the chapter. That means the two order pairs are equal with each other if their respective first elements are equal and their respective second elements are equal. Then, the two lines, the two axes, divides the plane into six different parts. What are those six different parts? Now, four quadrants and two axes. The four quadrants are known as quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, quadrant 4. In quadrant 1, all points are positive. In quadrant 2, the coordinates of all points are negative positive. The first one is negative, second one is positive. The first point or the first number is known as x coordinate of the point. The second number is known as y coordinate of the point. Now, how we find the coordinates of a point comes to this diagram. If P is any point, so I told you that any point on a plane relates with an order pair. Now, P, as P is a point on the plane, P relates with an order pair. Let the order pair is X, Y. So, how you find X? Now, from point P, 
draw perpendicular to x axis and draw perpendicular to y axis. The perpendicular distance between the point and y axis is called the first element of the other pair which is known as the x coordinate of the point P. So the x coordinate of a point is also known as abscissa of the point. Now by drawing a perpendicular from P to x axis that is PQ we get the perpendicular distance between x axis and the point which is known as the second element of the other pair and that is known as y coordinate of the point P. So x is the perpendicular distance between y axis and P, y is the perpendicular distance between x axis and P. This is all about your concepts regarding coordinate geometry. Now we will enter into the first topic of this chapter which is known as your distance formula. So in distance formula, we have to find what is the objective of distance formula. Distance formula means we have to find the distance between any two points on a plane. Suppose on a rectangular coordinate system. Suppose this is your x-axis, this is your y-axis and this is the origin. Let P x y P x1 y1 and Q x2 y2 be any two points on a rectangular coordinate system. Our objective is we have to find out the distance between P and Q. How we find the distance between P and Q? That is the length of the line segment that is the length of the line segment PQ. Now, draw perpendiculars PR and QS on x-axis. Draw perpendiculars. Then, draw another perpendicular PA on US. So, here we draw three perpendiculars. One, PR and PR on x-axis, QS on x-axis, PA on QS. Now, after drawing these perpendiculars, we get a right triangle. We get a right triangle, which is known as right triangle PAQ. According to the Pythagoras theorem, according to Pythagoras theorem, PQ is equal to root over of P A square plus Q A square. This is according to Pythagoras theorem. H is equal to root over of P square plus B square. Now, we have to convert P A and Q A in terms of X1, Y1 and X2, Y2. What is P A? Look here. P A. P A is equal to R S. That is equal to O S minus O R. So, what is O S? See here. If we draw a parallel line from Q with x axis, now if I name it as T, QT is equal to OS. QT is equal to OS. What is QT? QT is the perpendicular drawn from Q to Y axis. So it is the x coordinate of Q, that is x2. Like that, OR is equal to x1. So we get PA is equal to RS is equal to OS minus OR is equal to X2 minus X1. Similarly, QA. QA. QA is equal to QS minus AS. That is equal to QS minus PR. And these two are perpendicular drawn from the points to X axis. So it is considered as the y coordinate of the points. That means y2 minus y1. So PA is equal to x2 minus x1. QA is equal to y2 minus y1. So now we put this value in this Pythagoras theorem. Therefore, 
pq is equal to root over of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. This is known as your distance formula. That means distance between the point P and Q or the length of the line segment PQ. So here I am telling you one thing that you can write also x1 minus x2. You can write also y1 minus y2. You can change the order. Why we change the order? Now because as the square is here, so if we change the order, if first it is positive, then it will be negative. So negative square is always positive. Clear? Now we will this is how we find the distance between two points on a plane. Suppose, as we know, O is the origin. Coordinate of origin is always 0, 0. Coordinate of origin is always 0, 0. So, if we want to find out the distance between any point from origin or distance between the point, any point and origin, Suppose here A is any point with coordinate x, y. We have to find out the distance between the point A and origin. That means the length of the line segment, the length of the line segment OA. So in this case, if we are applying the distance formula, it becomes x minus 0 whole square plus OA is equal to x minus 0 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square that is equal to x square root over that is equal to root over of x square plus y square now why i am telling this one because some objective questions will come find the distance between point 3 4 from origin in this case instead of applying the distance formula you can write it direct that oa is equal to root over of 3 square plus 4 square 25 that is equal to 5 by doing like this you can save your time then any point two axis are there suppose a point is on x axis suppose a point may be on y axis when a point is on x axis as we know that the point has two coordinates one is x coordinate, other is y coordinate. Any point on x axis having y coordinate 0, any point on y axis having x coordinate 0. So, overall, we learn the distance formula, the concepts of coordinate geometry, and the distance between a point and the origin. Now, comes to one example. How we find the distance between the between any two points? Suppose your question is find the distance between find the distance between minus four three and two five. Here one point you consider that you can name it as any point. Suppose I consider it as A and B. So I want to find the distance between A and B that is AB. According to the distance formula, root over of 2 minus minus 4 whole square plus 5 minus 3 whole square. That is equal to, this is 2 plus 4, 6, 6 square plus 2 square. That is equal to 36 plus 4, that is equal to root over 40 or you can write it as 2 root 10 units 2 root 10 units as this chapter consists of only two formulas that both the formulas are having a large application on it so now in my next class I will tell you how you apply the distance formula in which case you will apply the distance formula and how you apply this concept that is the coordinates of origin, the distance between a point and origin so till then good do like comment share and subscribe our youtube channel inherent math to clear your concept and get do the best performance 
in class 10.